Welcome to Make the Most of MailChimp. In this video, I'm going to give you a sense of what to expect from the course so you know what you're getting into and you can get the most out of it. Here's the bottom line. Imagine that woman right there sitting in a job interview is you. And this interviewer who's reviewing your resume asks about your skills with MailChimp and you respond with complete confidence that you have professional level MailChimp skills. That's what this course is all about, helping you develop professional level MailChimp skills, far beyond what we usually see from conservation and environmental professionals. So one of the first things we want you to expect from this course is that this is a serious course. In fact, it's the very same course that members of the WaterWords team have to complete before we let them use MailChimp on your client projects. The course has seven major sections and the lessons are integrated with our other trainings. The lessons are integrated with the rest of the WaterWords approach to outreach. And you should expect that each of those first six sections is going to take you about a week to complete. So it's a six, seven, eight week commitment, this course right here, to achieve those professional level MailChimp skills. Now the first section is the overview. It's got a number of videos and exercises. Some of the key features in the overview section is that you're going to sign up for a free MailChimp account that you can practice with. That's right, you'll sign up for a free MailChimp account that you can practice with. And you'll spend some time rummaging around our collection of email addresses. We have an email address that we've set up and we've collected over 23,000 email newsletters there. And we will mine that collection extensively for uh, good examples, bad examples, and inspiration. And you're going to start to do that there in part one. Part two of the section, about a week later, is called the Outreach Slope. And you have another series of videos and exercises. Part two of the MailChimp training corresponds to our more than a message training. That's our training for outreach and communications planning. We'll take a look at the slope and you'll learn what terms like define your target audience, impressions, conversion, cultivation. What does that all mean in the context of MailChimp? If you've taken the more than a message uh, course. This section of the MailChimp course will be easier, but if you haven't, we'll bring you up to speed. Part two of the Make the Most of MailChimp course also corresponds with the Outreach Slope section of our Outreach Strategy Brief. That's our planning template. If you've worked with one of those documents before, we'll show you how that document, what that document means for MailChimp and what MailChimp means for that document. In part two of Make the Most of MailChimp, you'll see what MailChimp has in common with big e-commerce sites like Amazon, eBay, Match.com, other sites that you may be familiar with. We're going to help you see how MailChimp is actually a lot like them. And you'll get hands-on in MailChimp. You'll turn a rather dull and uninspiring email sign-up form into something that looks better and works better. Part three of Make the Most MailChimp is the message method, and you'll have a series of videos and exercises that you'll go through uh, to learn how to be confident that the emails you are sending are the best looking and most persuasive that they can be. Part three of Make the Most MailChimp corresponds to our Water Words That Work training on how to choose words and pictures. You'll quickly review the six steps of the message method. Begin with behavior, find foolproof photos, swap the shop talk, insert the words that work, tempting testimonials, review readability. What does all that mean when you're preparing emails out of MailChimp? This part of the Make the Most of MailChimp course corresponds to the environmental message method section of our outreach strategy brief. And you'll learn what that strategy brief means for MailChimp 
and what MailChimp means for that uh, part of the strategy brief. In part three of Make the Most of MailChimp, we'll spend a lot of time studying good examples and bad examples of emails that other conservation organizations and have prepared and sent out of MailChimp or out of uh, similar email marketing programs. Part four of Make the Most of MailChimp is about managing MailChimp projects. We've got a series of videos and exercises to help you understand start to finish what goes into uh, creating and sending one of these emails. This part of the Make the Most of MailChimp training corresponds to our Perfect Outreach Projects course, which is about teamwork and project management. We'll spend some time thinking about all of the different roles that have to be played to get an email uh, sent, and we'll ask you to think about what you're going to do yourself and what others might do to make sure that the words are the best that they can be, the pictures are the best that they can be, that all of the errors, the, all of the potential errors have been caught and dealt with before you hit send. This part of the Make the Most of MailChimp course corresponds to the project management part of the outreach strategy brief and also to the brand guidelines part of the outreach strategy brief where we talk about colors and fonts and other design elements. In this part of Make the Most of MailChimp, you'll start creating some emails. We'll get you started by having you recreate or imitate some emails that have been prepared by other conservation organizations. And by learning to copy others' work, you'll develop the skills that you need to create your own great-looking emails. In part five of Make the Most of MailChimp, we'll go over some of the advanced features. MailChimp is a very good-natured and cooperative program. MailChimp wants to play nice with your other outreach tools. If you're using Facebook or Twitter, MailChimp wants to play nice with those, and we'll show you how. If you're using Eventbrite, MailChimp wants to play nice, and we'll show you how. If you're using PayPal, MailChimp wants to play nice, and we'll show you how. In part six, we're going to put it all together. You're going to create a complete campaign, an art contest for Arbor Day. You'll have a series of videos and exercises, and you're going to create a young artist for Arbor Day contest, and you're going to manage all aspects of the contest right in MailChimp. The promotional emails, the entry forms, the voting forms, that'll all be right into MailChimp. You'll see how to put together a complete outreach effort using MailChimp as the foundation. Now the last part of Make the Most of MailChimp is pretty short. That's the wrap up. We'll give you a few encouraging words before we send you on your way and we will ask you to fill out a student feedback form. We worked really hard on this course, but we're sure it's not perfect. We'll be interested in your thoughts on how we can make it more perfect for future students. Welcome to Make the Most of MailChimp. Good luck.